Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Headcrab Entertainment. I am TRP Strife, and this is Unepic. Dungeon diving with me in this episode, again, Cabal. Give us just a second to grab this loot real quick, and we'll meet you in the next room of the dungeon. Oh yeah, this room looks real cheerful. Unknown to me, that was my last arrow. And now, I'm standing there going, why can't I hit anything? What's wrong with my guy? Oh dumbass, you wasted all your arrows. And cue death number five. Here we go, I've made it back to the room, and what's the first thing I do? Drop down on top of an enemy and hurt myself. I'm starting to think when they named this game on Epic, they had me specifically in mind. Yeah, jumping, strike, just die. Thank you. I think most of my deaths happen because I do something stupid, like taking points with no health. It's taken a while, but we finally made it to the top of this dungeon place, and there's a lever. Do I dare push the lever? I pull the lever. Oh shit. <laughs> I have a feeling I know how this one ends. No, no. Damn it. Go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Damn it. I hate this DM. Was that rock part of your surprises? That's right. You wanted action? There you go. Wow. We have a rather mean spirited DM, don't we? You discover stairs underneath your feet that go down. Wow. That was brilliant. What a genius GM we have. Or DM. The wall vanishes and there's a lever at the far end of the room. Is it a trap? Or a passage to Ulak? Send the noobs in. I like this idea. <laughs> it looks like it takes a few hits to kill those, so I'm going to help him out. Even though I'm sure I'm going to regret this. Okay, and we pull the lever, and yeah, dead spike pit. Yeah, he's a sadistic little bastard now, isn't he? Okay, here we are back in this room. Platforming has never been my strongest suit, but here goes nothing. I just can't let it live. The satyr must die. And that's my thought on platforming at the moment. I see you. Looks like a nice little save point for me and Cabal. Looks like Cabal spent that one. I'll grab this one real quick. Hmm, looks like some slime and snakes. Geronimo! I hate those damn things. Oh, 
Okay, making progress. Die. No, get away from me. Die. 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 Thank you. And jump strike. And jump strike. And jump strike. Come on. You will die. I got something for you, Mr. Snake. You have no knee, so have an arrow to the face. Oh yay, more of these things. No, no. Damn it, no! And here we go, some more jump strikes. And I failed. Okay, we're just gonna finish clearing this room and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, let's see. Turn down here. And light this torch so I can see what's shooting at me. Okay, just a couple satyrs. No problem. Okay, there's Cabal. Just wondering where he is hiding. And I'm gonna leave. That kind of hurt. Okay, now that I'm all healed up, I'm just going to wait for Cabal, and we'll do this together. Uh, nope. You there. Stop moving. Don't. Stop it. There. All dead. Good deal. Oh goody, a spike ball by the ladder. Definitely not a trap, right? Oh yay, I hear a snake. And there is a snake. We might be able to sneak down the ladder without fighting it. Ah, uh, that, okay, I guess, ah! Uh, the snake is the least of my worries. Okay, I see. There's a switch there that causes that fireball to attack. I'm gonna grab the salute and meet Cabal. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Oh, bats. Figures. At least it wasn't the poisonous snake. Once again, we're gonna clear this room real quick and we'll be moving right along. Ooh, I think Cabal just leveled up. Underneath your feet, you discover a hidden staircase that leads to an underground pit filled with stakes. Hmm, we obviously have to go down there. Yeah, we probably do. Why? Because the DM wouldn't have mentioned it. Yup. And yeah, he's a statistic guy like that. You'd love it. Goodbye, Cabal. Nice knowing you, buddy. I'm sure I'll be joining you soon. And there I go. <laughs> that jackass. Well, shit. That didn't work now, did it? Behind the fake wall, the last chamber opens up with an invoker. Then if we activate the invoker, we get the box will appear. The Ulak isn't exactly a box, but something more organic. Okay. And there we have Ulak. A pink pile of poo. And there's a lot of piles of poo hopping around. This might be a problem. Sweet. Gotta love getting my level up. Looks like it give me full health again too. Cue the death. You died of 
plague disease. If I were you, avoid his farts as they are poison. So that's what's killing us. So it turns out Poo Monster Ulak is a pain in the ass. Not only does he have his little minions that chase you down, but if you're too slow on hitting him, he will fart. The poisonous consequences is death. No escape. Wait for it, wait for it. There. That is the poison that just, you can't escape. Cue death. That poison's just so unfair. And once again, the jackass hits the poison. It's ridiculous. Guess what? I get to die again. Yay! No, seriously, enough is enough. Stop with killing me. We finally worked out a strategy where one person would hit the guy, and depending on which direction the poo went, one person would go and destroy the little minions before they could become a problem. This kept him from having time to fart, and kept us from being overrun. However, it took forever. This could be in part to the fact that I'm still using nothing but noob gear, and neither one of us knows what we're doing yet. There we go. Ulak is dead. Gear all over the ground. It's time to loot and figure out what we're doing next. That was the Dungeon of the Seder. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the show, and I will catch you next time on the next episode of Headcrab Entertainment.